A good thing could kill you. That's the hypothesis from local researchers after an animal study showed too much zinc could lead to a dangerous disease. New at 10, News Channel 5's Rebecca Schleicher spoke with those experts who say far fewer people should be taking vitamin supplements. Yeah, Rory, we're used to taking supplements and vitamins like these. We've always been told they're good for our health, but some of them have up to 500% of the daily recommended dose for individual vitamins. And researchers are saying, unless you have a deficiency and really need that much of a certain vitamin, too much can be dangerous. It goes against what many consider common knowledge, but at Vanderbilt, researchers now say some supplements could be dangerous. What we are worried about are, is what's called mega dosing. So this is the idea that more is always better and that you should take as much of an individual nutrient as you can. If you have a vitamin deficiency, they say by all means take your vitamins. But for everyone else, these scientists looked at a deadly infection known as C. diff. Patients often get it in the hospital after taking antibiotics. When your good microbes go away from antibiotics, Usually, C. diff can then flourish and produces toxins, which then damage the cells in your body, and you end up with a really nasty disease that is often fatal. Take C. diff and grow it in this chamber. They found out diet affected the infection too, giving my supplements, including zinc, both above and below recommended daily amounts. If you had high levels of zinc, they didn't need as much antibiotics to get infected too much of a good thing. And if people who don't need them cut back, it could help their bodies and their wallets. It's a huge market, right? So there's uh, a number of companies make billions of dollars on supplements and they're not really regulated by the FDA. So what should you do? They say think carefully about your vitamins and we're fortunate to be able to get most of our nutrients from food and you know, vegetables and fruit and healthy grains. And if you can do that, I think you don't have to worry about putting these extra things into your body. They say the next step is to study exactly why this happens on a molecular level and also how the study on animals will translate to humans. Carrie? Rebecca, thank you.